Ragamuffin is a cat that originates from England. Thanks to crossing with various breeds, including outbreds, ragamuffins acquired strong immunity and good health. These are cats with a rich history and unusual personality. They become attached to the owner, love children and have a calm, peaceful character. The story of the origin of ragamuffins. The progenitor of the ragamuffin breed was the breed of popular American cats, the Regils. The translation of the unusual name, ragamuffin, refers to the unusual appearance of cats, ragdoll or ragamuffin. The breed of cats was created by the popular breeder Ann Baker back in the 60s of the last century. The ancestor of the ragamuffin breed is considered to be the cat Josephine, which did not have any known origin. Most likely, Persian and Angora roots were mixed in the cat. In the 70s, Ann Baker founded the Regil, an association of cat lovers, which set strict standards for the breed. Deviations began to appear among the standards, so a split occurred in the association. Some breeders began to cross the Regils with Persian, Himalayan and mongrel cats, which increased their genetic potential and health. This is how the ragamuffin breed appeared. The name of the ragamuffins could have been different, labeling, but we settled on the latter as it conveys the origin of these cats. Fun fact, ragamuffins did not immediately acquire their standard. In many ways, these cats have free characteristics, among which there are only a few established rules. Thanks to this, ragamuffins retain their individuality. Ragamuffins have not gained the same popularity as Regils. This was influenced by the status of the Regil breed and the famous name of their breeder. Nevertheless, they still found their audience because they had undoubted advantages over many other cat breeds. Ragamuffin, Breed Description According to the standard, the ragamuffin body is proportional and rectangular. The chest is wide, convex, strong shoulders and pelvis. The abdomen is dense, but a small soft fat layer always forms below. It does not affect body weight and is mandatory for the breed. Cats weigh from 7 to 9 kilograms, females, significantly less, from 4 to 6. The wool of ragamuffins is elongated, but not too long, it is soft and silky. The hair on the hind legs is slightly longer than in other places. There is also a distinctive woolen rim around the neck and sideburns around the head and on the sides. The head has the shape of a wedge, the outline is slightly rounded, graceful, without corners and sharp transitions. The forehead and chin are smooth, the front part is small and compact. Fluffy cheeks, long mustache and voluminous mustache pads create an expressive expression of this breed's face. The ragamuffin's eyes are large, expressive, set far apart. They can be of any color, but for a color such as mink and sepia, the eye color is sky blue, sea or yellow green. The ears of cats are in the shape of a triangle, neat and tilted slightly forward. The top is smoothed, and there is a small tassel resembling Maine Coon brushes. Paws of medium length, with large soft pink pads, support the massive skeleton of the cat well. The hind legs are longer than the front ones. The tail is long and fluffy, but in proportion to the body, tapering towards the tip. Popular ragamuffin colors. It should be said that the ragamuffin fur is unique. It is very dense and very soft, it can be of different lengths. People who have petted ragamuffins claim that the fur of these cats is similar to silk. The fur layer has two rows and a dense undercoat, which is not inferior in length and density to the guard hair. Ragamuffins have completely different colors. This breed largely split from the regils due to the fact that kittens of other colors began to appear. Therefore, ragamuffins do not have a standard in color. However, in some associations the most revered color is white. The nose and paw pads must match the color of the coat. Only white ragamuffins can have pink, eye-colored and multicolored paw pads. Ragamuffin eyes are necessarily bright, but also lack color standards. The most common ragamuffin colors are as follows, color point. This is a Siamese color with prominent dots, points on the protruding parts of the body. The muzzle, ears, tips of paws and tail are painted darker. In ragamuffins, this color can have various variations, brown, black, chocolate, reddish. The main thing is that the color of the body is lighter than the color of the points. Black ragamuffins are also common, but exclusively black, unmarked, are extremely rare. Most often they have white colored body parts, chest, legs, muzzle or tail. Such ragamuffins are appreciated at exhibitions because they look very impressive, tabby. A color in which very bright dark stripes or spots stand out against a basic white background. The nature and habits of ragamuffins. Ragamuffins are peaceful and companionable animals, although their character has a number of characteristics, for example, ragamuffins are endlessly devoted to the family in which they have lived since childhood. Therefore, you should not give an adult cat to other people, it will never take root in someone else's environment and will always miss its owners. Ragamuffins are quite sociable cats. They get along well with other cats who are ready to make contact, but if they show aggression in their direction, the ragamuffin will never take the initiative to get acquainted. 
Thanks to such a loyal character, these cats get along well with children and are even ready to endure games with them. Ragamuffins are smart. They lend themselves well to training and do not have difficulties in education. But there is an important nuance, Ragamuffin should be the first animal that you have in your apartment. He should not feel competition from other animals, all attention should be focused only on him. Ragamuffins do not tolerate dogs, so you cannot keep these two pets together. Ragamuffins cannot stand loneliness and separation from their beloved owner. He cannot be left alone even for two days, the cat will get bored, depressed and ill. Ragamuffin must be taken with you on all long trips, including on vacation. It will not suit him if you leave him with neighbors or friends. Taming him to loneliness is useless. Interesting fact, cats of this breed are good at traveling. They are happy to explore the new area and feel protected if the owner is nearby. These cats have absolutely no developed hunting instinct, so they will not run after prey. Ragamuffins love to please their owners, so they happily learn tricks and follow the established rules of behavior. These cats are reserved and intelligent, so they will not spin under their feet or scream loudly, attracting the attention of the owner. Interesting facts about ragamuffins. A fold of fat under the belly of cats only forms by the age of two. Because of this, some owners begin to think that the animal has gained too much weight and put it on a diet, which is not worth doing. Fat fold is characteristic and normal for this breed. Depending on the season, the density and structure of the ragamuffin's coat varies. For example, cats shed heavily by summer, shedding almost all of their undercoat. And the wool reaches the greatest density and smoothness by three years in the winter period. Over the years, the wool dulls, becomes more porous, so ragamuffins in old age look much darker than they used to be. Lynx brushes on the ears do not exist in all representatives of this breed. They are not a requirement of the standard, but are highly regarded at exhibitions. White ragamuffins with tassels on the ears are especially valuable. Ragamuffins can be disqualified for several mismatched characteristics. Firstly, it is too long or too short body, long legs, short or curly hair. The tail should be straight and long. The cheekbones or cheeks are clearly visible on the head and the nose has a hump. Also for cats of this breed squint is characteristic, which is not a good sign. The ragamuffins were called ragdoll for a reason. These cats love to be in their arms, even if the position is not very comfortable. They are easily tolerated when grabbed and carried by children, they even like it. Ragamuffins willingly climb into their hands and purr on their knees. Ragamuffins even allow children to wrap themselves in swaddling clothes and babysit themselves. These cats understand which animals can be hunted and which must not be touched. Thanks to their sociability, ragamuffins get along with guinea pigs and parrots, they are even happy to communicate with other animals. All ragamuffins are born white. Their coat takes on a certain color only by three or four months. Pros and cons of ragamuffins. The advantages of the ragamuffin breed include calm temperament, peacefulness. Ragamuffins are very tactful with both family and new people. This extends to their relationship to animals and children. Ragamuffins are not noisy animals at all. They rarely meow, do not get underfoot, do not tend to bully. The maximum that these cats can do to attract the attention of the owner is to gently touch it with their paws or purr quietly. Representatives of this breed completely trust the owners and treat them with all tenderness and kindness. Ragamuffins will always have confidence that their people will not harm them and will treat them well. Cats are patient, so they get along well with other animals and children, with the exception of dogs. The main thing is that the ragamuffin should feel that he is loved, so he will not be jealous of the owner of other pets. Ragamuffins are well trained and quickly learn the rules of behavior in the apartment, they are in good health and are not prone to disease. The disadvantages of ragamuffins include, ragamuffins are vulnerable and unable to stand up for themselves. They prefer to avoid conflicts, but if they happen, these cats cannot fight back. Ragamuffins are not worth getting if you need a cat and mouse trap. They will not hunt, but rather be frightened by mice or other rodents. Ragamuffins are very afraid of water, they shed heavily, especially during certain periods. Their coat needs good care. Ragamuffins are susceptible to stress. Therefore, they cannot be left alone for a long time, they cannot be scolded, frightened, and even more so, beaten. Adult cats are completely indifferent to what is happening around. They don't play and try to move less. Breeding ragamuffins. Cats and cats that have reached the age of three years are allowed to mate. Animals must be absolutely healthy, including those without internal parasites. All vaccinations must be affixed to the animal passport. The cat and the cat are listed as one breed, since interbreed mating for ragamuffins is not allowed. Due to their nature, ragamuffins are not aggressive and sociable. Even when cats are in heat, they behave very courteously and even shyly, so it may take a long time for the animals to get to know and get used to each other. Therefore, the ragamuffin cat will have to be brought to visit the cat several times until the animals communicate. 
interesting fact, if the cat is too shy, then it is better to start mating with an experienced adult cat. Cats are less careful, so they themselves willingly go towards cats. As a rule, mating is productive. Ragamuffin cats have excellent health and correct physiology, so pregnancy is easy. Ragamuffins also give birth without difficulty, but it is important for them that a person is present during childbirth, this is how cats feel calmer. Kittens, most often, are born six, but there are also eight. They are all white with subtle shades. When kittens open their eyes, the healthiest kittens can be identified by the saturation of their eyes, they should be bright blue. Ragamuffin kittens are strong and strong, from birth their wide chest and developed paws are noticeable, and the pelvic bones should be strictly shoulder width apart. At the 16th week, the kitten takes on the appearance most similar to that of an adult cat. Its color becomes clear, the outlines of the skeleton appear. In total, ragamuffins live, on average, up to 16 years. Ragamuffin care. Although ragamuffins have the thickest fur with three layers, it is not as difficult to care for as similar furry breeds. He does not fall into lumps and tangles, but simply falls out, and he should be helped in this. The cat must be brushed out daily using a large brush with long, sparse teeth. When the ragamuffin starts to shed, comb the coat several times using brushes with different frequency of teeth. You should not bathe ragamuffins more than once a year. These cats treat water very badly, and each bath is a huge stress for the cat. Ragamuffins themselves take good care of the cleanliness of their fur, and if the pet gets its paws dirty, it is better to wipe it with a napkin moistened with warm water. If there is a need for bathing, then you need to use special shampoos and balms for cats with long hair. An important fact, the eyes and ears of ragamuffins should be wiped once a week. Discharge may appear from the eyes, which is the norm for this breed, and excess wax must be removed from the ears. Ragamuffins' teeth require special care and should be cleaned daily with special toothpastes. Otherwise, the cat may develop periodontal disease. Claws should be cut about once a month so that they do not impede the movement of the cat. Since ragamuffins are easily brought up, then from childhood it is worth teaching him to a scratching post, which will itself sharpen his claws. You need to walk with ragamuffin. If you have a private house with a good fence, then you can let him go alone, the cat will not leave the house because of his characteristic fear. Walking along the street, you cannot move far from the animal, the ragamuffin can get scared of anything and run away. Diet of ragamuffins. Ragamuffins are best fed with special premium food for large cats. These foods are balanced and contain enough nutrients to keep your cat healthy and beautiful. It is worth immediately abandoning cheap feeds, since they provoke various diseases. Natural feeding of a long-haired cat is possible if it is balanced correctly. Ragamuffins need a huge amount of protein and fiber. In addition, most of the diet is meat, because although ragamuffins have lost their hunting instincts, they are still predators. We stick to the following foods that are rich in protein and fiber, veal, chicken, turkey, lean meat, raw or semi-cooked, small quantities of marine and ocean fish, fermented milk products, including low-fat cottage cheese and kefir, any fruits and berries, with the exception of grapes and citruses, should not be given to cats in any case, any vegetables, especially cucumbers, cereals, except for wheat and legumes, well cooked. Be sure to check with your veterinarian to prescribe your cat individual mineral and vitamin supplements. For food to be well absorbed and as healthy as possible, it is worth serving it in small portions three to four times a day. Since the stomach of long-haired cats is easily clogged with hair, you need to clean it with special pastes. In addition to pastes, fresh herbs cleanse well, you can buy them in the store and grow them right on the windowsill. Diseases and health problems. The rich experience of crossing over the course of the breed's history has awarded ragamuffins with excellent health and excellent immunity. These cats rarely get sick and rarely catch a cold, so you can safely walk along the street with them. There are a number of hereditary diseases that can only be detected using a DNA test. Before crossing two individuals, testing should be carried out to show whether the offspring is at risk of these diseases. It is a disease of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and hereditary polycystic kidney disease. Animals with these diseases do not live long. Instead of health problems, ragamuffins have acquired characteristics that set them apart from other cats. For example, loneliness can lead cats to depression, which can lead to other health problems. Depressed cats are inactive, lose weight and do not want to eat at all. These cats are treated with antidepressants, but curing ragamuffin depression is very difficult. When starting a ragamuffin, you need to leave at least one more small pet with him, which will communicate with the cat. Ragamuffins are very stress-prone. Fright can be fatal for ragamuffins, they can permanently acquire a phobia, start flinching at any moments that remind him of fear. A stressed animal can eat a lot or refuse to eat, and ragamuffin will also need an even greater presence of the owner. Ragamuffin, price and how to buy it correctly. 
Ragamuffin in the US costs between 800 US dollars and 1200 US dollars. In addition, it should be understood that the import of an animal is also associated with significant expenses. In the CIS countries there are several nurseries that breed regals. Ragamuffins are sometimes brought there, but it is worth ordering cats of this breed in advance, so the cost of a cat of this breed will exceed 1300 US dollars. It is best to go for Ragamuffin to England, his historical homeland. When choosing a kitten, first of all, you should pay attention to its eye color. Purebred Ragamuffins have bright blue, rich eyes. The chest of such a kitten is strong, and the legs are strong. It is worth purchasing a Ragamuffin kitten only after it is 16 weeks old, then the skeleton of the cat and its color becomes clear. All kittens are white from birth, so it is impossible to reliably determine the future color. Ragamuffin kittens are timid but curious animals. They will approach people with caution, but without fear. Overly active or even aggressive kittens are discarded from the breed. The cost of a kitten depends on the color of its coat, eye color, character and pedigree. You can buy pet class ragamuffin in unpopular nurseries for about 900 US dollars. Ragamuffins are intelligent and affectionate cats. They love to be close to the owner and enjoy being shown attention. Thanks to their sociability, ragamuffins get along well with other animals. The lack of a hunter's instinct allows you to easily walk cats of this breed without fear that the ragamuffin will escape.